Welcome to the Statistic NDD YouTube channel. If you're new to R or you haven't worked with it much or you come from a different anal data analysis tool like SPSS for example, you might be a bit intimidated opening up R or R Studio as I recommend and you get greeted by this blinking cursor and now um, R Studio and R expect you to write R code. But what if you don't know how to write R code? The same if you open a, a new script like here, new file, R script um, it's just empty and a blinking cursor is awaiting your commands. So wouldn't it be nice to have a graphical user face at hand that helps us in this process if we just want to do a quick data analysis. Luckily such tools exist. The one that I will show you today is called R Commander and we can load it using the library R Commander um, function. Uh, of course you need to install it first. So if you haven't installed it, you can go in our studio to the Packages tab and then click on Install and type in this RCMDR. Um, R is case sensitive, so capital R and then CMDR for R Commander. Um, you, you would type that in here and then click on Install. But I've installed it in already and I can start up using the library R Commander function. It takes a few moments. What is written in red here is just notes and information and no errors. The first time you start, um, our commander might ask you to install a few more packages and of course you should allow it to do that. The R commander just provides a graphical user interface but it uses a lot of other packages in the background to provide us with ways of analyzing data. So now we get this window, the R commander user interface. Um, it's recommended not to to shut down this window as long as you want to do data analysis. If you do, it asks you if you really want to exit. I said yes. Um, I have two screens, so sometimes the windows appear on a different screen. Uh, and just note that if I type library R command again, nothing happens and the window won't reappear because the package is already loaded. So in that case, you can use the commander function and then you get the window back. And now we have a nice menu here with a lot of options to analyze data and I go to the statistics tab and let's say we want to do some mean comparison and you see that all the menu entries are grayed out and I can't choose any of these tests. Why? Because I have no data yet. So here I need to select a data set but I don't even have a data set in the global environment so I can't select a data set. So let's use some data first and I'm using the chick weights data set. It's a very simple data set. Um, we can click on it to make it available and you see um, it's just got these two variables weight and feed. So it's about chicken um, and we can analyze relationships between the type of feed they get and their weight. Um, 71 observations, two variables. I can also click on the arrow here in the global environment and you see it's a very simple data set. So back to the R commander window. Uh, if you want to know more about the data set you can type question mark chick weights and you get a help page that looks like this and it describes the data set. Right so back to the R commander window we can now select this data set. I get this window and the only data set available um, is chick weights, so I select it and now in the statistics tab um, not all the options are grayed out anymore. The independent samples t-test and pair t-test are grayed out because we have no variable with exactly two categories but we can run a one-way ANOVA and very conveniently the menu is already filled in because our commander recognizes that the only variable that is suitable as a group variable is feed because it's categorical. It's called a factor here. So it's got six categories and the only numeric or continuous variable is weight. So it's already filled in. The only change we make is we activate pairwise, pairwise comparisons of means. So I just click OK. Um, and now you see we get quite a lot of output for very little effort that we put in. It starts here. This is the command, the R code um, that produces these results. Um, the main model is, is here and then there's some more R code following up. Um, 
it's always embedded here in the console. We'll look at the R code in more detail in a moment. First, let's have a quick look at the results. I don't want to make this a statistics course, but um, at least show you that we get a lot of output for very little effort. We get a p-value here, for example, for the overall result. Um, it's marked significant. The value is very small, much smaller than the 0, 0, uh, 0 0.05 threshold. So overall, um, there are differences between um, weights of the chicken um, by feed type. And we get some descriptive statistics here for each group, for each feed type, a mean, standard deviation, and the number of cases, n. And then we get some more code that produces a plot and summary. We look at the plot in a moment. And here we get the model, multiple comparisons of means. So again, not going into too much detail, but um, it would not be good practice to um, do a lot of separate t-tests to compare um, all of the groups individually, uh, because um, yeah, we, we could draw wrong assumptions. If we do too many individual t-tests, we get quite a high probability of obtaining significant results, even though there may be no relationship in the population. So we have to tell the test that uh, we have more than two groups that we want to compare and control the p-values. And this is what the Tukey method does here, Tukey contrasts. Um, and here we get all the individual groups compared. And you see that some of them are significant. They're marked with these stars, two or three stars. And the levels are explained here underneath the table. And some of them are not significant. Right, we also get a chart. And we see that the chart corresponds well to this table that we see here because uh, we have the means and the confidence intervals, 95% family-wise confidence level, it says here in the plot. So all the group comparisons where the confidence interval does not cross this um, dotted line at the zero um, x-axis range um, are significant. And where the conf confidence interval does cross this line, then the test is not significant, so this corresponds well. Right. Um, not wanting to make this a statistics course, let's just go back to the R Commander window and see what else we get. So we have results in the console. We have a simple plot <coughs> that serves us well. And we also get two tabs here in the R Commander window. One gives us um, the R code as a, as a R script, so we could save that in a script um, to make our analysis reproducible and we also get a tab R markdown so we have the same R code here but a little bit more around it so R markdown is a very powerful tool to create reports directly from R so you can write your own text for example you see a heading here you can enter your name and you can write other text that um, explains your results and you can embed the R code directly in this document so you can create a report in various formats um, and avoid copy and paste workflows to insert results like tables or charts. And you could s store this markdown code as well to make your analysis reproducible. Right, that was about it. Um, I hope that you find that useful. All the best for your data analysis. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best. See you next time. Ciao.